it's me Emily, welcome back. I know it has been a while since I came on here on YouTube and posted a video. Reasons for that is basically just homeschool. I was um, so busy with online school, it's crazy. I basically have 10 hours a day in front of my computer and practically have no free time. <laughs> Yay. Um, yeah. Love it. And that is the reason why I decided this year is different. I mean, not only because of that, I decided that this year is going to be different because, let's be honest, this year is different. And because of the obvious reasons, I decided this year is, as I already said, different. Which means I never decorated my room Christmassy because I just, I didn't need it. But with me spending 24 seven inside of my room, I thought it would be quite nice to decorate it. And with me never decorating it before, I did not have any decorations. The only thing I have is this, which is a candle holder with pink glitter in it. And that one I stole from my mum. That's basically all I have for my room. That is Christmassy. Maybe my fairy lights. That you can see here in the back, I have some fairy lights all over my room. That's the only thing that is slightly Christmassy, but I have those fairy lights on always, so yeah. Also not that Christmassy. But um, I decided to give my room this Christmassy makeover because I need it for my mental health. Because I think that if I do it, I'm going to be in a great mood because right now my room is untidy and unmotivating and I think if I make it nice Christmassy and I bring the Christmas spirit into it I think that I'm going to be a lot more motivated at least that's what I hope as I already said I don't have, really have Christmas decorations for my room so that's why I'm going to do a lot of Christmas DIYs which you also will see in this video so if you need any cool Christmas DIYs that are easy to make and that are doable whilst being in lockdown slash quarantine which Everyone should do if you have the possibility to stay home nearly 24 7 and please do it um, It's really good. It's good for our society and if we all quarantine right now in this day and age Then hopefully it will stop sooner and our, we will get our normal life spec sooner We'll see in this video. You're going to see a lot of Christmas DIYs um, That hopefully are easy to do. I have never done them before. We'll see um and hopefully that will bring a little bit of the Christmas spirit into my room. And yeah, now that I told you what my plan is for my Christmas makeover, let's get into the Christmas spirit, shall we? Now I'm just going to show you the before. I'm actually a bit embarrassed to show you the before because it's really untidy. But you gotta do what you gotta do and I think it's good to bring a bit more reality into the YouTube world so let me just show you a round oh, like a round look of my room so here's my bookshelf that one is pretty much not that untidy though so that one is fine might do some Christmas decorations switch out this bit up top my bed it's just it's my bed really untidy I'm going to switch bed sheets and everything try to do a bit more Christmas mood here are my baubles and all the stuff that is done. Um, here we have my um, untidy, what you would call, desk. Cannot talk anymore. As you can see, I, I do quite a lot of work here. Yay, fun. Even though it's not that untidy, but there's another desk right here, right down here that is untidy. So here is another overlook. Here are my advent calendars. It's just, it's super untidy. Here is the untidy other desk I talked about, my wash and some other stuff. Here's like other decorations. I will probably switch those out to be a bit more Christmassy again. Um, those are from another video that is linked up here. Um, yeah, it's um, a DIY. Oh, there, here are some DIYs I did in another video. And yeah, that's practically it. Um, nothing much else, my bud. And then I have my and nothing really else that is happening in here so yeah it's really untidy so the first step obviously is going to be tidying it up which I will do now
Okay, so what I did is I folded all these little Christmas trees in the colors I wanted it them to be. Um, the link to that video, where that, which I did it with, is linked down below. And um, then what I did next is I took myself some string, which is quite see-through. It was kind of like this brownish, beigey kind of color. And I just took that one and put it onto the needle. And... Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. It took me quite a while to get that in. Obviously, I cut that out, but never mind. Yeah, see, it takes me quite long. Yeah, she finally got it. And, um, yeah, still going. Yeah, mm hmm. I took a Christmas tree off the leaf, but folded, as I already said, and it just like poked it through the board, not the bottom, the top, and um, just poked it through. Make sure you don't poke your fingers. Happened to me once or twice. Not that nice um and just pull it through and then you make sure that one part of the string is still in and the other one comes out so you kind of like have the the yeah the tree head dangling in between two strings even though it's one string and you just take those those two strings basically and put it into one again and then we take the needle again and yeah put the string into the needle and then we take ourselves a bead um, which is just a casual little bead that should have a hole so we can obviously put it onto the string and that's what we basically do and once we have finished that we're going to take our little measuring thing and we measure for me it was 10 centimeters I will write it up in this um, somewhere in this thing what 10 centimeters is in inches and then you just Take your needle and kind of poke the string you chose to kind of put your trees on and your garland on and you just poke it and you um, make sure that it's on the right way and once you're done with that you kind of just tie it onto there because otherwise it will fall off and that will be quite nice you know just having a garland and everything falling off that that wouldn't be that no would not recommend that and once you've yeah put it on you just cut off the rest of the string and you're done you keep on doing this with your rest and then it's done so we're going to start off with taking our wire and just putting it in the right way and once you're done with your circle you should be as happy as I am and once you're really done with your circle you just take your baubles that you chose and you kind of just put them on the wire and like make sure you like the arrangement um make sure that you use different colored ones different textured ones i used um normal glossy kind of ones glittery as you can see and also matte ones i used them in the colors pink purple and gold I did not know the world gold anymore yeah I'm this kind of wasted right now never mind and you just make sure that you put them all the way on and once you've finished it should look something like this um, my, I actually am quite proud of the outcome um, in between it didn't look as good but it did it does now and once I was done with that I just took a little bit of gold thing string whatever and I kind of took my hot glue and glued the metal bit of the wire um, or the, the thingy wingy whatever this is a, a, the ribbon it's a ribbon um, put it around and glued it on so the wire bit of the wire wow the silver bit of the wire is covered and it is not as ugly as it is without For this DIY we're going to take ourselves normal paper and we are going to fold it the way that I just did. It's hard to explain what I'm doing but you can pretty good much see what I'm doing so just do whatever I do. And if you are like a folding expert or an origami expert, sorry for not knowing what it's called. But yeah, we're going to do this and make sure that it's all nice and like really tight. And um, once you have folded it this way, you are going to take our scissors and cut off the extra piece. And once we did this, I mean, this will take a while because I'm a really slow cutter. 
with paper and videos, but that's not important. And um, once we've done that, you should be left with a square, but you can't see it, so now it's a... What's that called? Okay, I googled what it was called and it's called a triangle. I mean, I should have known that, but my brain just isn't working anymore. So we're going to do this and when we, then we're going to fold our triangle in half so we have another triangle, a smaller one. And then we're going to kind of fold it in this weird way. I can't really describe it what it is, but it's kind of like folding it into an ice cream cone kind of shape. I think that's pretty much what it is. Make sure that it's tight again because then it, it's easier for you later on. And also you should be making sure that um, this is like all this the same, but obviously for me it isn't. That will help you as well. Once we're done with that, we're going to take our scissors again and cut off the extra pieces so we're left with one straight line. Cutty, cutty, cutty. Again, I'm a slow cutter. I mean, genuinely. And... Once we've cut that, you're going to basically make sure that the main fold is on the bottom so that is there's no open bit um, showing to you. Then you're going to take a template. Um, I've put the ones I've used up here. Um, and you're basically just going to draw it on your piece. And once you've finished drawing it on, you are going to be left with this kind of a weird shape. And then we're going to cut all the pieces out. And when we're finished with cutting everything out, we're going to unfold everything and then we're going to see whether it worked or didn't work. And ta-da, it worked. And it actually looks quite cute. In order for us to be able to hang them off the wall, we are going to need our thread again from the Christmas Garland DIY and our needle. And we're going to put the thread through the needle once again. And once we've done that, we're going to basically take our star, snowflake, whatever, um, and poke it through one end again. And just make sure that you're not too close to the edge because otherwise there's a possibility of ripping it. And then we're just going to make a knot into it again so it's nice and stable. Make sure that you make multiple knots just so it's even safer. You're just going to cut off the rest of the thread that you're not going to need anymore and on the other end that hopefully is the end that is on the actual thread you're going to basically take the length that you want to have and then we're just going to take some tape and tape it wherever you want I chose my window for our final DIY we're going to need some cardan that is from the brand Neil. I know you've all heard from the Brent Neil. It's a really good company and has great cardan. And we're just going to take ourselves some green paint. I know it does not look like green paint. It looks like gray paint, but believe me, it's green paint. It's just the camera and the lightning in general messing it up. But it is definite, definitely green. And we're just going to take that, take a little brush. Make sure it's a big one because then it won't take you as long. And also, don't dip it in water as I did, it's a, it's a dumb idea, it, it's going to make everything super watery. As you can see, super watery, don't make it. And then you're just going to paint everything on and yeah, make sure that everything's covered. And um, I didn't show it, but you should also paint the second half, so if you cut it open you have like a, bit of sur a bigger surface and make sure that you paint all of it. Um, you're going to knead it on. So that's what I did and we're just going to basically do the exact same step on the other side because we need both sides that is really important and I'm super proud of this cutting like genuinely um, it is on both sides and then we're just going to take ourselves our pencil and then we're just going to draw um, a Christmas tree shape on it and once we've done that make sure it's in different sizes we're going to basically cut on one of the two trees um, up until the 
bottom half so we're going to cut into the bottom half and for the other one we're going to cut into the upper half just like I did right here and that is a good reason why we're going to do that um, because when we put it together like this we're going to have somewhat of a 3D Christmas tree oh my goodness this rhymed and they look so cute process now is over um, it actually was so much fun decorating and just coming up with the DIYs um, I really love it I'm currently like looking around my room just seeing the DIYs I mean I know it's not like the biggest Christmas room makeover ever I know but considering that I'm, I'm not quarantined but you know that I'm in lockdown and that I can't really go out buy stuff therefore it really is good it's a good way I think and it's it's nice it's um small little details that make me feel better I've had this whole entire week now where I kind of kept adding all the um decorations and it actually I was a lot more motivated so <laughs> that worked um maybe the fact that it snowed outside also helped to this fact that I was a lot more motivated there's actually still a lot more snow um outside I mean most of it is already melted but there's still a amount and I'm just in general really happy um, and yeah my favorite DIY definitely is the Christmas tree garland one I think it's so, so cute um, it has a nice little touch and you can get so creative with it I in the past week made three different garlands so I made the one for my room I made one for downstairs so our living room that is in the colors black and white looks super cool and I also made one for my aunt that has normal green trees and yes, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and please also consider subscribing. It would really mean the world to me. And also, don't mind tagging me in your Instagram story, showing me your DIYs you made. And also, write me a comment down below which DIY you like best and which ones you tried. And we'll see each other next time. Bye!